Hey everyone, it's Jesse FK again. Um, I'm gonna do a little some reviews on my 780. Um, it's been a couple weeks. Sorry, it's been so long since my last video. Um, basically, I'm doing some benchmarks right now. I'm just gonna basically show you the difference between just like a stock 780 and an overclocked, and then the two 780s and SLI stock and overclocked. And I get about a 15 to 20% performance increase, well, yeah, probably around 15% performance increase just by overclocking them. Uh, they do a really good job overclocking. I was able to get, with just the 38 millivolts, the highest amount you can go on these cards, um, I was able to get 200 megahertz on the core, like additional, and 300 megahertz for the memory. So the, the clock ends up being around 1241 megahertz on the core and 3305 for the megahertz on the memory. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to show like a, a bar graph to kind of show you guys. Um, I'm going to split them up a little bit. I'm going to do the, the 3D Mark 2011 and 3D Mark 2013. Then I'm going to do the uh, unengine um, benchmarks, the Let's see, it's Heaven and Valley, and then I'll then I'll start going on onto games. I'll probably do five or six different games. It takes a while because I have to run basically the test four times for every game and every benchmark. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm really happy with these cards. I really like them a lot. Um, you know, I don't know for the performance. I mean, the price per for performance like there's no game out there that you need a, this much graphics power maybe if you want like highest settings on Metro Last Light or something like that and maybe Crisis 3 I actually haven't I don't have either of those games um, I'm, I might be getting Metro Last Light uh, anyway um, all the games will pretty much be on max settings so you guys can see you know the differences um, and it's a 1080p screen so I'm not going to be doing any higher resolution than 1080p um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy thanks oh yeah and I do have to say that um, the it's Unigen is I think the name of the company Unigen Valley is definitely by far my favorite benchmark it's just like it's really beautiful, and the sound is awesome, the music, so I recommend you guys download it, <laughs> even if you don't care about benchmarking. Thanks. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you like the benchmarks. Um, it took me about five or six hours to run them all, so I hope they help you guys. Um, I found some interesting things. Uh, basically the cards that use uh, PhysX, I mean the games that use PhysX, um, when you run an SLI, you don't get a huge performance boost, uh, especially with like Arkham City. Um, Metro, I actually did it, did it end up buying Metro 23 and 2033 and Last Light. Um, so I ran the benchmarks for that. So as you guys can see, I ran 11 games and four GPU benchmarks. Um, for the for like the games that utilize the GPUs really well and SLI worked really well, you pretty much saw like 100% 
uh, 95 to 100 percent performance increase going from 180 to 2. Um, yeah, the games are basically the GPU usage like went around 50 to 60 percent. You know, you only saw like a, a 50 percent increase in performance, so it's pretty interesting to see that. Um, so as you guys saw from the graphs, and that's basically what happened. Uh, one that interest me, interest, interested me the most was Hitman Absolution. When I overclocked the GPUs in SLI, they actually went down in performance. The uh, GPU usage actually went down further. So I don't know uh, what the deal was with that. That was pretty interesting. Um, so I don't know if you would like if you underclock the cards if it'll do better. I doubt it, but that, that was just pretty interesting to see. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.